Hello, everybody. Welcome to track one of World Camp Lisbon 23 on the afternoon. So thanks for waiting for some minutes. We are delaying the beginning of each talk and the, this first part of the afternoon for 15 minutes because, you know, the lunch was served a little later. I hope we, you, we as uh, organizing team, hope we have a great lunch and uh, please forgive the delay it was somewhat unexpected but sometimes this kind of situations happens so welcome and uh, be ready because we have 15 minutes delayed but we will go full speed ahead until the coffee break the coffee break will be shorter 15 minutes shorter so we can line up for the rest of the afternoon and now, ladies and gentlemen, this is my huge pleasure to welcome Milana Kapp to WordCamp Lisbon. Uh, Milana is a WordPress engineer. She works for XWP as a developer and works also for the documentation team for WordPress.org. And she led uh, five major or four major uh, releases related to documentation with focus on the uh, new issues related to uh, programming for the WordPress project. She also helped to organize several conferences, WordPress conferences, including WordCamp Europe 2018 and 19. She is a single mom. That is a superpower that she has to run against all odds in a lot of things. But she has a weak point, two weak points. First, you can bribe her with chocolate, dark <laughs> chocolate. And even better, a really nice piece of bacon. Hmm? <laughs> and be ready, because in the next minute, we will run to the terminal and we will learn a lot of things that we can do in five minutes in WP CLI. But Please hang, because this is live. Be ready. Milana, Cap. Hi, thank you. Uh, so I have to cut this talk, uh, but I will give you something very special that I've never done in this talk before. Uh, so there is a uh, kind of, uh, uh, in the beginning I, try to explain you why WPCLI is very good for you, and we will cut that now, because you are here, you want to learn about it. WPCLI is command line interface for WordPress, and today we have so many CLI tools, and I'm very happy for that, uh, and you should use them all the time. Why? Uh, if we compare WPCLI and WordPress, uh, which is kind of a uh, graphic user interface, right, for WPCLI, it's WordPress. So when you compare it, uh, what you can do in WPCLI and uh, WordPress dashboard, there is this first level of using uh, uh, WPCLI. You can do everything the same as you would in WordPress dashboard. Anything that you can do in WordPress dashboard, fresh install, you can do with WPCLI. And this first level of using WPCLI, I like to call Guilfoy level. And that's if you wanna just play and test around. Then you wanna do more. You wanna list cron jobs. Everybody does, it's okay. So you, in dashboard, you cannot do that without a plugin. Or you cannot export or import database without a plugin, right? With WPCLI, you can do that on French still No plugins needed. And that second level of using WPCLI is by the Piper level. <laughs> but then you want to do more, right? You might want to export just parts of database. I needed to export just a part of database, just posts in last six months. I didn't need all the team options, all the authors or whatever. I just needed that. With WPCLI, you can do it without any plugin. With dashboard, you can't do it. And this level of using WPCLI is Neo. And now you think there's no more levels. Well, there is. You might want to 
create your own custom WPCLI command. You might want to create a plugin. There is no plugin for creating plugin, and we don't need it, right? We have WPCLI. And some very smart hosting companies and plugin authors have been doing this, creating custom uh, WPCLI commands for years now. Now imagine you get a new project, you log into your hosting, and you dig a little bit, and oh my god, there is SSH access. But then you dig a little bit more, and you see there is WPCLI available. No, you're flirting, stop it. But then you see there are custom WPCLI commands for you to do things faster in their own servers. Now that new level of using WPCLI is Mr. Robot level. So now I managed to, in less than four minutes, to convince you you want to use it. Of course you do. I'm going to show you now. Can we switch to this? Are we switched? Oops, sorry. So I don't have any server or computer without it. I cannot show you how to install it, but it's quite clear with the uh, documentation. Sorry, no caps lock. All you need is three and a half commands. And with this first command, you just uh, download it and it's already working. So basically you just need this one command. But then there is this half command that you want to check it. If it's working, it's working. But you don't want to type PHP WPCLI every time you want to run command, right? Nobody wants that. So what you do is you make it executable. This is the second and a half command. And then you want to move it somewhere in your path and uh, execute it from anywhere you like. This is uh, the most common thing, how it's called WP, and whatever you call it here, that will be the command you start commanding with. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, as I said, but just keep in mind, once you install it, you will do a lot of copy pasting from Stack Overflow, documentation, so maybe you know it's sane to just call it WP. And now we can go back and use it. This is how it looks like. No, let's do info. And here it is, you have info about your system and everything that's there. And uh, a helpful tip when you start using WPCLI is uh, every command is trying to be consistent and there is anatomy of a command. So we have WP and then we have um, none. This is entity you want to work with and there are a lot of entities. Uh, and Please keep in mind, at any moment you can use help and list all of it. So everything is there in your terminal. You don't need to go to documentation. After none, there are verbs that you can do with this none. And you will find a lot of verbs are the same for commands like add, create, remove, list, uh, generate, and we will see more of them. And if this is not uh, uh, enough refined for you, you can use flags. Now, flags is what would be uh, arguments in a function or parameters, so you can really, really refine this uh, for your uh, need. And at any time, you can use uh, global parameters. Uh, one of them is help, but also there is one of the most beautiful global parameter in the world. And I'm sp speaking this specially for my friends from Laravel community. Yeah, there is a prompt, and you will see how powerful it is. So, um, now when we know uh, how to use it, I'm gonna talk about a little bit of administration. Uh, imagine scenario, uh, you had a client a few years ago, they never wrote, never, you know, call you and now they send you email and they say that they cannot access uh, their admin uh, URL. It keeps sending them to 404 page. And they try WP admin, they try login, they try everything. It just doesn't happen. And this is because you were smart and you changed the login URL to increase the security of the website. And you can tell your client to change it again so that even you don't know it. 
and let's pretend they did. So, now nobody in the world knows this login URL, and you have two options. You can go to database and search if you have access, which is boring, or you can run one WPCLI command. And of course, uh, we live in a perfect world where every server has WPCLI, right, available, and we have SSH access, so you wanna do the second option, and I'm with you there. So we, we, we can do uh, SSH and Milana at milana.dev. This is my imaginary client, 55656. No, sorry. This is what happens. This is port number. And we are there. And this is all great, but you're forgetting one thing. I haven't heard from this client for years. I don't know that port number. I don't know where's the file where I save that port number. I don't even know if I still have that file. So, what can I do with WPCLI? Well, I can use alias. And I can even create aliases for groups of websites if I wanna do things in bulk, just don't go too much there, uh, trust me. So, how do I see if I have alias for this client? I can say WPCLI alias, list. Now, you see here WPCLI, so the uh, none is the third word here. This is because this is uh, uh, alias is uh, configuration for your computer. It really doesn't have anything to do with uh, WordPress website that you have on your computer. So if I list them, you will see here this is what I typed. This is my client and my alias is at client. Okay, so what can I do? I can say WP client, this is how you use alias. So WP alias name and then command as you would. And let's say core version. It has to be correctly typed to work. And oh, it's outdated. So while we are there, I can just say core update. Look, ma, no hands. I didn't even go there. I suggest you do go there, <laughs> just to check is, if everything is um, as it should. Okay, nice, internet is working, tell everybody else. Okay, so what we wanna do is find out the login URL. So how can I do that? I can type WP client, and then I'm gonna use command that I've used too many times to <laughs> admit how many times. So it's evil and it will uh, execute arbitrary PHP on your server. So you know that I'm not on my server, I'm just connecting through SSH via this uh, alias. So uh, I happen to know, let me put, okay. I happen to know what is the function, w, uh, WordPress function for uh, getting login URL and it's getting login URL. Uh, and I'm just gonna add here new line, don't worry about that, just to print it nicely. And you should have asked Milana. So <laughs> this is my imaginary client's website. Now, this task in real life could last uh, for hours, like uh, you send them email, oh, I don't have the uh, credentials and they say, oh, I don't have either. And then you try to search for it on your computer, but you cannot log two hours searching for password, right? And yeah, so uh, this could be a, a very long uh, unpaid work that is frustrating. Uh, or you could start using aliases right now for every website you, you have, and in two years you will love yourself because your WPCLI config file will be your all your credentials that you need, and you don't even have to go and look because you have aliases to work with. Okay, so I have eight minutes. Um, let's see what I wanna do. I wanna show you uh, something about security. Uh, I have a local website here. It's uh, freshly installed WordPress. And let me list users for you. 
see admin admin and this admin is administrator so uh, let's see what this admin can do wp admin command will take you to dashboard but only in your local because it behaves differently with uh, remote servers but it's also a very good command that can help you uh, never to memorize anything if you didn't notice i don't memorize things at all so this is my local website and i'm going to show you things that are pretty obvious not because i think you don't know them uh, but because i want to make a point so this is admin and they have a complete access to posts, categories, tags, pages, um, appearance, all the teams, editor, site editor. There is plugins, there are tools, there is a team file editor and plugin file editor. In 2023, you can edit PHP files from dashboard. That's insane. Now, when you freshly install WordPress, there is this a hello world post that is automatically created and published and uh, default team always show the uh, username of this only administrator that has access to editing PHP files in your dashboard. So what we need now is just a password, right? And WordPress websites get hacked a lot. Uh, that's not a secret and I like to think that's because we are popular, but you don't want to measure our popularity with your client's website, right? So what we can do is we can uh, limit access to this um, administrator and we are just going to say WP user remove capability administrator. No. Uh, this uh, parameter here, the last parameter, I'm sorry, I'm just hurrying to, to show you everything. So the last parameter here uh, should be either user ID or email or username. And I happen to know it's one because it's the only one. Um, remove role, sorry. I want to remove role. Right. And now if we check user list you see the row here is empty and what that means for this uh, user when they try to go to dashboard nothing happens because wordpress has no idea what to do with you when you have no role and now this WordPress is locked down and the way I love it. But if you have a client, they would want to have access to it, right? So uh, we can do create a new user, WP user create. And um, now there are parameters that I don't want to remember. I don't memorize things. And we are going to use this, the most beautiful global parameter in the world prompt and it will prompt you with every parameter there is so I'm gonna say this is author and email it doesn't really matter because we are in local role I'm gonna say author password this should be strong but bear with me I have to log in with that um, and just like on Windows next 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 I don't care yeah so if I go back here and log out and log in with author, oh, we have very, very limited access. This author cannot do almost nothing. And you can add more capabilities to this user, WP user, um, add capability and now again the parameter is username or user id or um, email i'm gonna say two because i know it's two and i can say manage categories categories and this author now can um, sorry 
now have access to categories and tags. And you can add a lot of capabilities just to you know, uh, uh, fine tune that access so everything dangerous is out of reach and they can really uh, like own the website but not break it because that's our job to break the website. Okay, uh, and uh, it's important that you see here this um, I can't, uh, I don't have access to plugins to anything here. And the other user has no access to, at all to uh, uh, this WordPress. So keep that in mind. And now we are going to do some magic. I have to go to my magic uh, folder. It's completely empty. And I'm going to say WP install. And it's doing magic. We have less than two minutes, come on. Uh, database name is magic, of course. My root, um, I don't need this. Next, 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 title is magic, um, HTTP, magic.lock, admin, it's cooking, coming up, it's there, hurry. Yes, do you want to release the Kraken? I think we want to release the Kraken. We came this far and it's the Kraken. <laughs> and this is our new website made uh, in WordPress. So it's not a magic, it's actually just a bash script. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna show you this bash script. Uh, sublime, hold on. I'm trying to do things very fast here. Sorry. Um, WP install. And you see, this is very simple bash script. It has a download a core and then it um, creates a config, so you have to create config file. And I'm using this really, really simple bash scripting to collect, uh, you know, uh, my username and to collect my, securely collect my password because you don't want your password in bash history. And then I'm uh, creating, I'm installing um, and rewriting structure because um, here in this previous WordPress, we have six seconds. Uh, <laughs> um, you see this index.php, I don't have that here because I use this uh, rewrite uh, rule and then we have uh, some Linux fun and then we open admin if we want to uh, release the Kraken. And it's very simple and let me show you now, I'm gonna show you uh, this little thing that I uh, haven't done anywhere else. If you want to create bash script, you can do it very easily, just saying history and minus A. This is uh, just in this session what all the commands that I typed and I'm gonna say just, you know, test whatever and let me open it sublime uh, test this is file and you see this these are all commands that I have used so you can now easily just do this this is shebang and you say bin and bash and now you have your uh, bash script and what you want to do with it here is you want to uh, make it mode. You want to make it executable. Uh, there is plus x um, test. Now, when I show it to you, you see it's green. It's executable, and after that, I'm gonna move it to um, uh, my path. So. Move test to bin test. Okay, the point is, <laughs> I made a mistake and we are out of time. Uh, the point is to uh, move it to your uh, uh, path like we did with WPCLI uh, when we downloaded and then you can 
execute it from anywhere you want. So that's how easy it is to create a bash script and then you can fine tune it. And um, uh, my name is Milana Tsap. I am WordPress engineer at XWP and the loudest member of the uh, WordPress documentation team. I'm also a classical musician. If you want to talk to anything uh, about anything to me, just uh, you know, find me there. And I want to thank these uh, wonderful organizers for uh, everything they did. And I want to thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks, Milana. It was a fast pace in the next, in the last mile. So, thank you. And now to show our appreciation oh, to thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a uh, tile from Portugal. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> Folks, we don't have um, time for.